Uh, I'm really, really satisfied with the progress we made this summer, uh, not just on the football field uh, uh, as far as training, uh, but in the classroom and guys uh, understanding the, the standards in which we're going to hold them. So it's an exciting time. I, I feel great about this team because I really feel like that they've really bought into what we're doing. And then, man, I, I'm very blessed, very lucky to get to, get to work here and be around the people uh, that we have assembled here. Questions? Just All right, we're done. Okay. <laughs> what does the loss of Murphy mean to your defense? Uh, you know, Brian Murphy uh, will we'll, we'll redshirt uh, as I was academically ineligible. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, you know, uh, very, uh, um, you know, uh, disappointing for him and, and for, for our, our team. But, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, he'll redshirt and go to work and help our team. I told just like we have quite a few guys in, in the position that have to sit out whether it be transfers or whether it be circumstances that uh, uh, that they've had academically or otherwise, and uh, there's no such thing as sitting out of here. You know, every day you're, you're getting better or you're getting worse every single day, and, uh, uh, you know, we'd like to have him, uh, uh, but uh, we're moving forward, and uh, I feel good about the guys we got. I mean, Lindsey will be a stand-up guy pretty much. Uh, yeah, yeah, Lindsey will. Uh, that was our, really our plan all along. Uh, Lindsey will play the Panther position, and, and uh, well, we've got uh, – uh, Greg Williams, Todd Thomas uh, on the other side uh, playing what we call our spur position and uh, um, we will uh, uh, we'll move Brandon around trying to get you know our best guy on their last guy and so we're multiple it's hard for me to sit here and I mean out if you're talking about our odd front or 3-4 then yes he's the Panther we go to 4-3 he's going to be a defensive end so uh, we're very multiple in what we do and our deal is to adapt to what our guys can do and I think uh, Brandon's one of those guys that really is bought in and he told me he feels stronger and faster than he's ever been. So we're excited about what he can do, the impact of the quarterback, as well as, uh, you know, it's a good-looking bunch now. I mean, you look out there today. That's when I walked down. I sat down at the lunch table with our, our staff. I said, man, that's a good-looking bunch of kids. So we're excited about, uh, uh, you know, what we're going to be able to do uh, there with those guys defensively. Could you change back and forth from week to week, depending on the opponent, 3, 4, 4, 3? Yeah, we move them around. In other words, uh, you know, as a base, you know, uh, uh, you know, we're, we're filled in boundary with a lot of that stuff, and then we make field calls, boundary calls, strong calls, tight calls. So we, we would move people around. Uh, we basically, uh, uh, you know, want to get guys where they can uh, play about three techniques and play extremely fast. But uh, our whole deal is if we feel like that uh, Brandon's going to be a guy that really impact the quarterback, we want to, if their left tackle's uh, not as good as their, their right tackle, we're going to put him on, the right, on, on that side. So we're going to move him around and, uh, and do those type of things with him and, and, and also adapt to what he feels comfortable doing. And, and uh, you know, he feels he's pretty excited about standing up. And, and uh, I think he's, he's a very good athlete and a guy that really fits that. Uh, right spot this morning was, you know, watching Juan Price do it. So Juan's going to be a special, special guy at that position as well. A couple of things, just position things that I want you to know. Kevin Adams. We moved from defense to playing our three-back position, or what you guys probably call an H-back. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, naturally, uh, uh, Dan Mason and Burns are uh, are not participating in practice, but working hard and making improvement to get back every day. Uh, uh, right now, Brendan Felder's uh, red shirt, our, our uh, uh, NCAA waiver deal has been denied at this point, so uh, that's where we're at with that. Uh, and. Uh, uh, just a couple of couple of other other things like that. Uh, uh, Steve Williams, uh, incoming freshman, uh, will redshirt and uh, uh, it will be uh, basically out for the season. Okay. So the only two freshmen didn't make it. Huh? Are the only two freshmen that are not posted? Yeah, yeah. Steve yeah. Williams had had, had 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 surgery, so yeah, that's why he's out for the season. Yeah. Felder didn't get his waiver. I just want to make sure, make sure you guys that. So this is the best opportunity you, you've had in your life. Can you see where this program, can you envision this program, the potential it has? Well, I mean, you know, my whole deal, I came here to win champ championship. You know, we talked about that the other day. We talked about it as a staff, you know, when when we looked at uh, the opportunity to come to Pittsburgh, you know, a city of champions. So uh, it's pretty obvious that they're going to expect some win championships here. So. Uh, you know, the expectations are, are we embrace those, even though we haven't done anything. We haven't won a game yet. There's nothing we, we're not boasting or bragging. We just, our, our focus is that it, it, anything less than winning championships is unacceptable. My reason for doing that is that, uh, that's the way I've always done it, for one, uh, we ask a lot of our, our young people. Uh, I'm going to ask them, uh, 
to be the best in the country at their position, how they work, what they do in the classroom, what they do in the community, what they do off the field. And I'm not going to do. I, why would I have anything less than the ultimate goal? And that's to win every single game, and uh, and then win every single day, and how we do everything that we do. So I'm excited because you know I feel like that uh, uh, this is the best group of people. What makes a place for the people? It's the best staff I've ever been around. Uh, we have the best support around us uh, as far as administratively. Uh, you know, it's an exciting place to work. Whether you're whether we're we're out, you know, marketing the program, uh, selling what we're what we're talking about here. We've got great people throughout. You know, every day I come to work, there's not one person I come in contact with that isn't on fire, that isn't excited, and motivated about what we're doing, and, and that makes uh, that makes it exciting for me. And uh, I just believe that uh, uh, you know that that's what it's about. It's what you're getting done on every single day. What's your what you, what's your attitude, and man? I, you know, we want to have an attitude of gratitude every day. We want to have a passion about what we're doing. And uh, we're going to win championships, and that's uh, that, that's what I'm excited about. And I, I really think that uh, you know we're going to be a lot of close football games, but I think we've got an opportunity to do that this year, and that's what excites me. You mentioned uh, Greg, Greg Williams, and Todd Thomas at that spur position. Is that a position battle for those two, or is there one? Uh, well, we it's a position battle in every position. Uh, you know, uh, we think we've got a, a lot of guys competing. I think uh, you know uh, Greg's one of those guys who's really had a tremendous summer. A guy that we think uh, what we've tried to do is go back and spend a lot of time studying those guys' film and watch the things that they do extremely well, and then try to make sure they're in the right position and adapt what we're doing to their skills. I think that's the key. We just don't say, "Here's what we're running, and you guys got to fit it." I think that's the key for us. Uh, you know, uh, but we're excited about uh, those guys uh, at, at those outside positions. And Todd and Greg will be competing there uh, uh, to be the spur to the field. Uh, we think those are guys that are, you know, neither one of those guys are in spring, spring ball. Both are big, powerful guys, uh, and, as well as, you know, with, we've got Brandon over there at the Panther position. Uh, we've got Juan over there with him. We think as a freshman, has got a chance to be an impact over there on that side. So. Uh, we're, we're excited about where we're at. Uh, this, this morning, just kind of give you a little rundown of that. I mean, I'm very, very impressed with our receivers, speed-wise. You know, uh, uh, some some acrobatic catches today. <coughs> They're just moving around. Now they they were much like you seen the first day of practice in the spring. They started off uh, uh, pretty hard, and then uh, the, the pace got to them a little bit, uh, and, and then it, it slowed a little bit. But uh, I was very, very impressed with the running back position and the receiver position, the amount of speed that we have at those positions is going to be exciting. Trey Anderson, a walk-on quarterback, showed some really good things in his first day. So, uh, um, you know, we felt good. And that's what we feel good about the guys up front, how they developed. A lot of the guys that were running third team in the spring have really had great summers and physically have gotten a bunch better. So there's not one kid in our program I don't think has gotten better from the spring. Are you, are you guys just – just plays the best guy. I know you like the red shirt, all your freshmen. I mean, you have a philosophy on that. I made it here that uh, uh, we're going to do what we got to do to win football games uh, this year. Uh, you know, uh, you know, we have a plan, uh, and that plan is to get better every single day on every single rep. And uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not a guy that's going to say, hey, we're going to red shirt. If a, if a young man can help us win football games, uh, we're going to do what's best for the team first. And uh, um, you also have to be smart. I don't want a kid to. to Wearing his red shirt, play two plays. I had a our backup center a couple years ago uh, uh, in the taking the twelfth game of the year. Our center got hurt. We had no choice but to get in there. He played two series and burned us. We don't want to have that happen. But you know what? I, I didn't have any choice at that at that point. So um, you know, it just depends. I think the mental maturity part of it's the most difficult thing. You know, things are changing so dramatically for freshmen. You know, the academics and education is such such an adjustment as well as, you know, living away from mom and all that. There's a lot of adjustments to make. It takes a really mature kid to be able to handle it. And I, I think we're going to have a lot of guys that uh, uh, that are going to compete to be able to do that. But on the same hand, I feel good about the nucleus of this team that I don't, I, you know, for a guy to come in and play and start as a freshman boy, he's going to be really special. On, on the go ahead, on, on the defensive side of the ball, you know, I was very, very impressed with, uh, like I told you, with the, the linebacking core, the three guys that we brought in there, and then uh, in the secondary, I thought you know, Lafayette and that group was, was very, Lloyd Carrington was another guy that was impressive today. I don't want to point out too many guys on the first day because not, not, they didn't really know what they were doing as, as much as anything, but I, I was very, very impressed with, with that, with, with the group of freshmen and how they handled things today. But, Talk about Zach Brown, his role, and a little bit of the back. Well, I think Zach is uh, the best thing that Zach brings us is, is the type of person that he is. 
uh, the leadership, the character that he brings in here. Uh, he's a very special guy. Uh, a young man's got a very strong faith. Uh, is a, from the day day one comes in and you know, he's already breaking down our kids. You know, breaking them down at the end of practice, stuff like that. So he, he, he's, he's got a lot of leadership abilities. Uh, he is a, uh, a, you know, a downhill power back, and uh, uh, we're excited about that. And that's something that in our system that we want, not just this year, but, you know, we want to be physical. And, uh, uh, you know, naturally I think that uh, from the time he's gotten here, uh, he's going to help make Ray better every day. What do you going to use to look for Ray? Right? Be the best in the country. That's, that's our goal for every single person. And uh, you know, I, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, like we talked to our guys about. You know, uh, uh, we're not. Uh, uh, however, we have to do it. Uh, whether it's uh, how many touches each guy gets. You know, the, what we do, we, we're going to get the ball in the, our best guy's hands as many times as we can. And uh, uh, and uh, but it's not about. Uh, you know, one person or another. It's how the team operates together. And that's one of the things we're really asking these guys to do. And that's what I talked to them the very first thing yesterday is that the key for us winning the championship is for the guys that have been returning starters, that are seniors, that are that are the, that are the guys that are the core leaders on this team, that they keep the change. As a matter of fact, we're wearing a shirt. It's on the back. It says keep the change. On the front, it says pay the price. And uh, what are you going to sacrifice? What are you willing to give up? What are you willing to commit? And then making sure you keep the change because see what happens. We don't want to revert back to old habits, and uh, and uh, we want we respect and honor what's been done in the past, but we want a different result, and that's a championship. So that, that's what our guys are, you know, challenged our guys to focus to do. What kind of workload do you expect for Ray in training camp? We take precautions with him. Or? Uh, I'm just not one of those people that believe in that. I, I, uh, I precautions. We're going to be smart. We're not going to be tackling. Uh, their legs and all that stuff. This is football. I think when you run around scared of uh, contact and scared to get people hurt, that's going to get people hurt. Uh, you obviously cannot be a physical football team and and, uh, and worry about that. But uh, we'll be smart about what we're doing as we progress forward. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's like you, if you came and seen any of our spring, our, our quarterbacks didn't have a different colored jersey until the spring game. And uh, But our guys are also very smart. We're not killing our quarterback either. So. Uh, we, we want to work very efficient with them, but we've got to, you know, you, if you're going to be a physical team, you've got to practice physical. So we're going to practice physical and be smart about what we're doing. Can this offense work at full potential without Tino hitting on all cylinders, or, or Tino the guy that has to really carry this? I, mean, I think, uh, I think the, uh, you know, the biggest challenge, just like anything, uh, it's like uh, anything you do, if you, if you have to do it twice as fast, or really probably three times as fast as what he's used to doing it, uh, the, the key is being efficient. So uh, uh, I can tell you this, that I've been very, very impressed uh, that, that he has gotten better every single day, I feel like. And uh, I could, he's, he's a guy that studies the game. Uh, it's very, very important. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to stand up here and tell you that we can master our entire offensive playbook in an eight-month period. But we've got to master the core principles that are important. Okay, and there's going to be times this year Tino's going to snap the ball and it's not going to look right, or there might be some confusion, especially early in the season. Just get to the next snap. I'll turn the football over. I think he has the toughest job on the team. I think being the quarterback uh, uh, naturally is in this system is very, very difficult. Uh, I have a lot of confidence in him. I really think, and the answer to your question is that can the offense can operate uh, at full potential as long as we won't turn the football over. So that's uh, that, that's my deal. Our, our whole deal, we want to get 80-plus plays a game. Every time we turn the ball over, we're playing five less plays that game on offense. So as long as we don't turn it over, we get 80 plays, we're going to score 35-plus points. That's been pretty much how it's worked. I do think that, uh, you know, in talking about him, uh, I have as much confidence as in him as I have in any guy that I've had. And I've had some good ones. I think he's uh, he's, uh, he's really, you know, uh, you know, working hard at – at changing the things that we want him to change. I like that he's confident. I like he believes that he believes in himself, and I like that. And uh, uh, but you know, this, the key is just don't out, operate outside the system. You know, that's what happens. You see it all the time. You know, guys with all the right intentions try to make a play, and they operate outside the system. If you just operate this system, it's one that's been proven to work and work very efficiently.
And I believe he's going to do that. We have a lot of confidence in him. What, what, what